In this video, we will see an alternate build of Windows 11 Pro, created by NTDEV. In this build, some pre-installed applications are removed so that the build is as clean as possible. Of course, we can install them later if we require them from the Microsoft Store. This also results in a smaller installation size on our disk drive. So, let's begin. We will first download the tiny 1123H2 image. We will search for it on our browser. This is the link we are looking for. Here it is mentioned that this build is based on the actual 23H2 release of Windows 11. Towards the right, we get a few download options. We will download the ISO image. The image is about 3.5 GB in size. Click here to download it. Let's have a look at the downloaded file. This is the image file. Now, if we have an old spare physical machine, we can create a bootable media with this image using software like Rufus. Then install this build of Windows 11 Pro on that device. Since we want to just explore this build, we will create a virtual machine using Oracle VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a free x86 and AMD64 or Intel 64 virtualization product for enterprise as well as home use. I already have it installed on my system. Let's open it. The VM Manager window opens. Click New. Give a suitable name to our virtual machine. Select a location on the host machine where we want to place our virtual machine files. From here we will select the downloaded tiny 11 ISO image. Now click Next. Here we will allocate hardware resources for the virtual machine. For RAM, we will provide 4 GB of memory. We will allocate only two processors. We can enable the checkbox to enable EFI, or not. It is not relevant to our demo. Then click Next. Here we can allocate disk space for our virtual machine. For this demo, we will provide only 20 GB of disk space. Then, click Next. We have allocated all basic hardware specifications. Click Finish. Our virtual machine is ready. Let's start it and begin the installation of the operating system. We will press any key. Here, after selecting appropriate options, click Next. Click Install Now. If you have a product key then enter it here, else click I don't have a product key. Accept the terms and conditions then click Next. Since we are doing a fresh install, we will select the custom install option. We will install the OS on this complete 20 GB disk. With the unallocated space selected, click New. We will click Apply to allocate a complete 20 GB space. Here, click OK. Click Next. Now the Windows installation will begin. This will take a decent amount of time. Once it is completed, the system will restart. Select the region and click Yes. Select the keyboard layout, then click Yes. We will click Skip for additional keyboard layout. Here provide some name, for the local account user, then click Next. We are not forced to provide a Microsoft account. We can later add a Microsoft account if we want. We do not want to set any user password. Here we will disable all the privacy settings for our device. Then click Accept. Now it will automatically work on some updates. Since it's a virtual machine, the internet connection is obtained from the host machine. It will take quite a while to complete the updates. Once it is done, we will have our Windows 11 Pro, Tiny 11, build ready. Let's check the pinned apps. We just have Settings and File Explorer. Let's check all the apps on the system. These are the only apps installed on the system.
If we want to uninstall then, just right click, and, click uninstall. Let us look at the device specifications. We can see that our virtual machine has a 6th gen i7 processor and 4GB RAM. OS is Windows 11 Pro. And version is 23H2. Now let us check how much space this Windows 11 build occupied on the drive. We will look into the properties of the C drive. We can see that the complete OS installation took about 16 gigabytes of space. There were some updates also during the installation process. In general, Windows 11 takes about 27 gigabytes of space for its installation. Here it took a little over 16 gigabytes. We can further compress the drive to save more space. But we will not do it. We can say that the Tiny 11 build of Windows 11 does remove some pre-installed application clutter. Let's check if we have Windows security or not. Looking at it, I guess, it has a fully functional Windows security component. Let's check if we can do a system update or not. These are all the available updates. They have started downloading too. So updating the windows is also possible. Let's make this virtual box VM full screen. Under the Devices menu, click on, Insert Guest Edition CD Image. Now open the CD drive on the virtual machine. Here we will execute the VBox Windows Editions executable. This will start the Editions setup. We will complete the setup. Now under the Views menu, Seamless Mode will be available. We will select it. The Seamless Mode will be active. Now under View, select the Full Screen Mode. The Virtual Machine will become Full Screen. Let's check how much RAM is being utilized. We will view it in the Task Manager. We can see that around 2 GB of RAM memory is being utilized by the operating system. Since this Windows 11 build has stripped down many applications, we can install the applications we need via the Microsoft Store. For example, we will try installing a browser. Mozilla Firefox. We will click Get. It has started downloading. Now it will be installed. Now we have Mozilla Firefox on our system. So like this, we can install other apps, from the Microsoft Store, on our system as required. We can say that the Tiny 11 build of Windows 11 Pro does reduce some clutter of pre-included apps to provide as clean as possible OS installation. But since this build is not official, I would prefer to install it only on a secondary machine, where I do not deal with any sensitive information. Or, I can use it on a virtual machine. So this was a view on the Tiny 11 build of Windows 11 Pro. If you liked the information then, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time, and patience. Have a nice day.